Hi, and welcome to Island Flair, an interview cooking show where we talk to some really interesting people and teach you how to prepare some incredible dishes right in the comfort of your own home. Today, our special guest is Miss Dimitri Farol. She is the vice chairman of Fakra Theater Foundation. You got it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, Demetra, tell us a little bit about um, uh, Track Road and what it is that you do. Well, Track Road Theater is a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. that was established in 1992 by Dr. Ian Strawn, mm -hmm. who is a professor at the College of the Bahamas. Um, about a year ago, Dr. Strawn uh, left Track Road to do his own personal ventures, but until that time, he was the chairperson. Uh, the chairperson is now Mr. Matthew Kelly, mm -hmm. and I am the vice chairperson um, with specific duties uh, involving youth. I'm the director of youth outreach, and one of the major projects that I have every year is the summer camp drama rama. Mm -hmm. And that's mainly what I'd like to talk to you about this evening. Oh, the drama rama. Now, the the thing is, it's funny even that you would mention that, and that is because um, the other day I heard some kids on the radio talking about it, mm -hmm. um, and they mentioned you and the stuff that you were doing as it relates to that, and they seemed really excited. Tell me, what what you know? Because when when I think about kids, they usually kind of picky about the things that they connect to. Mm -hmm. What is it that um, track road? presents or creates for these kids that causes this excitement in them? Well, every year we have a group of kids that just, they call me from about February, mm -hmm. asking, um, making sure that there is a camp, mm -hmm. making sure that we're at the same place, making sure that their name is on the list so that mm. uh, you know they don't get left out. Mm. And every year they come, and I think one of the main things that they come for is so that they can express their creativity. Drama Rum is a summer camp that gives young people between the ages of five and 16 the opportunity to explore their creativity through the performing arts. Mm -hmm. We do drama, we do dancing, we do singing. And unlike most times when you would tell a child to be creative, but you would give them so much guidance that a lot of their creativity is stifled. Mm -hmm. At Dramarama, what we do is we actually really kind of let them run with it and see exactly what it is that they're going to come up with. Mm -hmm. And so while we do have some plays that are written for them, we give them an opportunity to explore playwriting on their own. We give them an opportunity to explore, uh, you know, how would they design a little commercial or, or, or a little film? Mm -hmm. How would they design a set? How would they, uh, how would they pick a costume or design a costume for their character? Mm -hmm. How would they analyze their character? Right. And so we give them some practical instruction in drama. We, you know, blocking and what kind of stages there there are around the world, and you know what is upstage, downstage, that kind of thing. What's the difference between theater and film? We give them all of that practical. Uh, experience but we also give them a wonderful opportunity to be as creative as they possibly can be okay now one of the things you said you said um, um, you allow them to explore their own creativity so then would we say then that you create an environment for you know what's in them or what it is that they view um, play or drama to be to come out yes mm. absolutely we have a team of very young very energetic energetic, very enthusiastic teachers that uh, just enjoy seeing children create, mm -hmm. you know, and so we, while we would give them a general theme right. uh, each year that they would have to think about and various social issues that we would want them to think about, we also let them express themselves and express exactly how they feel mm -hmm. about these social issues and how it affects them or if they think it affects them at all mm -hmm. and that is uh, one of the main one of the main draws I think to the camp and that's why we have kids that have been there uh, five years ago when we first started and they are they, they just called me again they want to come back and they keep on coming back they enjoy it and they're learning and they don't think they're learning or, or I don't know they don't realize that they're learning mm -hmm. but they're learning about some very important things their parents appreciate it and we have a wonderful imp opportunity to impact the Bahamas mm -hmm. so then um, yeah well, well that, that would probably be a given because you're pouring into the minds of these young children, mm -hmm. um, which then would impact other generations. Absolutely. Uh, what type of support do you get from the parents and from the community itself as it relates to the ventures that you're doing? 
Well, we normally get um, wonderful support from the community. Uh, if I had have an opportunity, I'd like to thank Cape Bahamas Cares Foundation, who um, have been sponsors for the past four years, mm -hmm. um, and the Ministry of Culture as well, and, and many other corporate citizens that have just been very, very supportive, as well as our parents. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's wonderful. Well, today, I'm, um, Island Flair would create an environment for me mm -hmm. to explore my creativity. Um, I say that because what we're going to do today is we're, we're, like, we're like Star Trek. We, we're going where no one went before. <laughs> um, today, we're going to be preparing um, a conch parmesan. Okay. And that is going to be served with a pink vodka sauce. Okay. Now, usually people would have a veal parmesan or chicken parmesan. Right. But we're doing a Bahamian fusion and, you know, we're going to use the conch instead. Actually, this is going to be my first time, so... We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, so we're going Bahamian Italian today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we get back, we'll be outside in the kitchen with Dimitra. We'll have all that in our wine of the week. You stay tuned. We'll be right back. You ready to cook? Yes.